cattle rearing is not private business. Nigerian government must stop it. The Senate President, Lara. I am not a Fulani in any way. I don't have any Fulani blood. But I think our livestock rearers have not received a fair day all through our history. Hello everyone. You are welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for always coming out here. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please kindly do. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you for always coming out here. May God bless you all. The President of the Senate, Ahmed Lawa, has pledged to ensure that owners of livestock businesses are supported by the Nigerian government. According to Lawa, the livestock subsector has suffered neglect over the years and called on the authorities to accord the set of due recognition and support. He made a call while playing host to a delegation from the Federal Ministry of Agriculture led by the Minister, Minister Mohammed Mahmoud Abubakar. In his remarks, the Senate President noted that the livestock setup did not get the attention it deserves from the government and accused some people of being hypocritical on the issue of possible government support for the livestock business. He said, this setup, the livestock setup, does not get the attention of the government. And if I found it strange that here you have a setup that has the potential of boosting our economy significantly, and yet it is neglected. I am not a Fulani man in any way. I don't have any Fulani blood, but I think our livestock rearers have not received any fair day all through our history. As neglected people, we own every segment of those that elect us the obligation and responsibility to do what is right, to draw attention of governments and where we are able to do something personally, we do so for the betterment of our people. I think many Nigerians have been hypocritical when it comes to livestock rellers. They will say, no, 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 government should not support them. It is a private business. That is hypocrisy. What can be more private than banks? Individuals will establish bank, steal the money. Then am can we take over. Then we call it toxic assets and put the burden on our head. Government has given over 1.2 trillion to electricity distribution companies that have been sold to people. Even those who are engaged in crop, in crop farming, they got something, maybe free. And when it comes to livestock, they will say it's a private business. That is hypocrisy. And it is unfair to those who are engaged in livestock farming. This is 2022. Next year, there will be elections for presidents, governors, senators, House of Representatives, and state assembly members in the APC. I will fight until our manifesto provides for our livestock sub-session program. Yes, I will lead the fight and there will be no problem because I believe that our administration must do something. And whatever is led for this administration, I am going to get more of my colleagues to push something for the livestock sector. Fair is fair. We just have to be fair to people. And I think we have not been fair to our livestock animal relatives and fish fishermen. Our livestock session needs better attention. And I am not talking politics. Leaders or leaders at all levels of government, the federal, the state, and the local government must do something to address this issue. And Nigerians must desist from being hypocritical. The Senate President 
has for about five years through his foundation, Senator Ahmed Ibrahim Lawa Foundation launched an animal program of free vaccination for cattle, goats, and sheep in his UB, North Senatorial District. Okay. You said this because you want to return to Senate cattle rally. It's almost full and in private business. Igbos and the Yorubas are not doing their business, their private business. How many times did federal government intervene to help them? You people have killed this economy with laws that are not supposed to be applied. Thank God you said government. If I see anyone in my land, sorry for the owner and the land. That is why God made him to lose the Senate ticket because he have a terror motive. Nonsense talk. It is my father business from Chad. Senseless talk. This is why there is hunger and insecurity in Nigeria. Even Nigeria is tired of Nigeria government. Lawa is not good for Senate president. This is what the Ruga policy was about. He has now spoken the hidden truth behind the killings by the headers. So it's government business. Thanks for the enlightenment, Oga. What did I just hear? Say cattle railing is now government business? Like crude oil, okay? That is why cow life is more important than human life. Now, wow for these people. So cow railing is now a government business, Ahmed Lawa. No wonder they can't stop. Uh, Fulani killers cannot stop. <laughs> Nigerian, my country. This is what the Senate president is saying. Caterpillars have not benefited anything from government. Wait, oh. Is this cattle railing a, a, a federal? Because the way these people are thinking about this cattle railing as if it's a government issue. It's a private job. You have said it before. Why are they always using this their private stuff to disturb people? Every other person, they have their private job they are doing. The farmers, they are not disturbing the government. Now, even themselves, the government, the government you know, they, they help. In the north, you see, you see how they gave them loans to, to, to do farm and all that. Can you see that in the south? <laughs> Nigeria. It is well with us. I'm dropping it here, guys. Kindly share your thoughts.